Not long ago, I did a review of this solar light and it operates on remote control at maximum brightness. It ran about three hours and I said uh, when I made the video it would be a lot better if it had a sensor because well just operating three hours isn't very practical. Uh, so I found this one. This is about four dollars. It does have the sensor on it and uh, so far in my tests it turns on about 75 times uh, in uh, for 45 seconds at a time which is really good and that's not the maximum that's just the uh, test I've run. I'm testing it here in our kitchen and I set it up between the table, refrigerator and the sink where I knew people would walk by it and it's gone on and off uh, about oh, 65, 70 times now um, for 45 seconds at a time so yeah that's pretty good. There are two main parts. This is the light with the sensor and there's not much to it. I mean on the back side we have the uh, uh, mounting bracket and it's adjustable. That's good. On this side we have a somewhat waterproof socket that the uh, solar plugs into, the solar panel plugs into. And here we have our motion sensor. Uh, the surface here is acrylic and that's one drawback and then when we're talking about drawbacks the motion sensor is not adjustable most of these have I think three adjustments it's things like sensitivity and range and whatever but this one does not which yeah okay uh, it seems to be okay in my test but uh, otherwise yeah uh, it would be better if it had the adjustments and let's look at the solar panel the solar panel is pretty much the same uh, again it has the acrylic front face it has the same type of mounting thing on the back end, on the back side. It has a 5 meter cord and then a regular uh, power DIN plug. And uh, again from my tests I found that the combination, the light, uh, would easily turn on and off full power 75 times. I haven't tested it to the full max because it uh, takes a long time to do that. Um, but yeah, I would say, you know, this is totally acceptable. I wish they had the glass like the other one has. Uh, that would be good. And I wish this were adjustable. But, you know, uh, for $4, it's not a bad deal at all. Uh, okay, well, that was it. I hope you found it useful and interesting in your home DIY projects.